Welcome to another video about Photoshop for iPad. Today we're going to learn how to touch up a photo. Let's load it up. So we're gonna start by starting Photoshop. And we're gonna take a, a photo from Unsplash. So if you wanna follow along on your iPad, you can do that because all of the photos on Unsplash are totally free. Free to use, free to pretty much do whatever. This one is from Jennifer Marquez. I'm gonna put a link down in the video description. Today I'm using a pencil instead of a mouse. Uh, and you're gonna be able to follow along this blue little dot right here. Okay, we are going to start by creating a new layer using the layer button, new layer. We're gonna name this layer to, not used to using a pen, there you go, double click. Uh, we're gonna name it, uh, touch up rename and on this layer we're going to remove some uh, blemishes some imperfections which we don't want to keep now on uh, photoshop on your computer you have a whole lot more uh, tools to choose from when doing the job on photoshop for ipad you don't which also means there is less to choose from easier yes you know what, I am going to activate the mouse. There we go. Just because it was so much easier to show. So we're gonna do a combination, pencil and fingers and mouse. Okay, so we have named our layer. Now we're going to use pretty much the only tool you have, the spot healing brush. Now on uh, Photoshop for iPad, you can take samples like you can in uh, on your desktop. So you are just gonna have to use it as you usually do. Now, important, since we're using a different layer to make it non-destructive, you wanna make sure you sample all layers. We're gonna remove pressure for size. Um, so you don't have the choice to sample just a layer below or any other kind of choice, but it works, it works just fine. So we are going to zoom in a bit and i'm going to switch to my pencil see how that works and we're just going to heal jesus that's big we are that was crazy big we're gonna have to go maybe 15 and we don't want to zoom in too much because we don't want to get crazy with the details and miss the bigger picture so we're gonna try to get at least half the face preferably the whole face and we're going to be touching up small touches and we don't want to remove anything permanent we don't want to change uh, the model we just want to enhance the model like for instance this probably a birthmark probably up here as well i think it's kind of blurry here on the very very shallow depth of field in this photo but we're going to assume 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 it is so we are simply going to be working with what we think think are um, temporary temporary things and maybe we will speed this up because it's not very entertaining if you are using a mouse or fingers and you try to do something and you see that what the fudge i can't do anything what's wrong you have probably activated stylus only painting in the app settings so turn that off and return to work
Okay, there we go. I was struggling to find a photo I could share so you guys could follow along because all the photos, <laughs> the, almost all photos that are available on like Unsplash and the free services, they're uh, pretty much edited and retouched. So this photo doesn't have a whole lot to edit. So um, I'm just gonna, for demonstration purposes, we're gonna pretend that this is Audi birthmark. Might not be. And we're gonna pretend that that is not a birthmark. So let's see before and after. Before, mostly on the cheeks, and after. For scars or creases or things of that nature, like down here, there's, there seems to be maybe a scar or something like that. And in the regular Photoshop, you can simply make a brush stroke or decrease the opacity of that brush stroke. Here on the iPad, you can't. So we are going to have to uh, cheat the system. We're going to start a new layer. We're going to name this creases. So to demonstrate, we're going to make these creases under the eyes a little less prominent and also this scar. So we're going to actually, na actually name this creases under eyes. Eyes. Rename. So to do this, we are simply going to brush, make a brush stroke. Zzzz. And here as well. Maybe also here if we can without affecting the eyebrows too much. Boop. Okay. Now, as you can see, we went full, full simple jack here. So we are going to go to the layer properties and we're going to play around with the opacity. Zero opacity, it's all back. 25, decreasing, 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 increasing opacity, decreasing. Crease, like no crease, some crease. So if you have certain creases that are deeper or more prominent, you may want to put those on another layer. Now these were kind of similar, so we're going to put them on the same. But if we would have put scar here, on the same layer, it might be hard to find the sweet spot. So we are going to go maybe 40. There's no crease, looks somewhere. Eh. Just gonna go 45, 40, 45, 45 it is. And we're gonna make a new layer. And we're going to name this Scar. <laughs> Whoop. Oh. Photoshop is truly is magic. And let's see if we put this at 45, like the last one. Yeah. 30. Just for the heck of it. All right. Touch up is complete. Let's see if we made a difference. We are going to take these three layers and we're going to group them. Bop. And we're going to zoom out a bit to uh, 100 and then we're going to turn them off. Before, after. To do the dodging and burning, the lighten or darken, we're going to start a new layer. We're going to name it Dodge and Burn. Now we're going to set our Dodge and Burn layer to Soft Light. If I can scroll down, there you go. So we're going to go to our brush. 
we are going to make sure we have a very small amount of flow maybe one percent uh, in this case i don't like to use pressure for size or pressure for opacity and we are going to make a well decent size maybe 40. so now that we have a dodge and burn layer which is set to soft light we have a brush which is set to low f where I put that on percent. What? Surprise! You mother. Are you fudging with me? Pizza. Hmm. hmm. Okay. So now that we have a dodge and burn layer set to soft light, we have a brush with a low amount of flow, but not 1% because you just couldn't give it to me, could you? And we have black and white. If you don't have black and white, you can simply press D on your keyboard and it will turn black and white. D for default. And if you want to switch those around, you can press x if you have a keyboard otherwise you are stuck to pulling or swiping up and down dodging and burning what you can do now is you can uh, lighten areas which you want to have lighter and darken areas which you want to have darker now this is an art form in itself and if i go a bit like this you see difference if we just go one two three passes we lighten it up lighten it up without making it all crazy man i wish i could have one percent youth okay okay you win you win photoshop i think no, you don't, because even if you say zero, still getting results. Okay, flow is zero, but we still have some flow. So, okay, I think that might be enough. We can flip it over. Sometimes you can get a bit picture blind. Zit. And you can do as much or as little as you want. Okay, so let's see 100% uh, and we're gonna put the dodge and burn layer in the group. In the group. We don't wanna do that. That was terrible. There you go. And now we can toggle on and off to see before and after. Before. After. Very different vibe. Totally different vibe. Before. After. And from here you can do other image adjustments like uh, levels, curves, whatever your heart desires. Either exporting it and opening it in Lightroom. Or you can do it right here in Photoshop. Just add adjustment layer. Here you have a few of the common ones at least. Like the curves. Just make sure you have put all your touch-up layers in a group. So you don't start affecting your layers in a way you don't want to. Keep them together and then put a curves adjustment layer or any adjustment layer above and you'll be golden that's it for this video if you have any questions or anything else you want to see just ask down in the comments and i will get back to you now if you like this video throw in a thumbs up until next time